What were your top priority tasks strategy in the first six to 12 months of launching? We'd like to hear this from people who started from scratch with no pre-existing audience. Okay, launching your membership site or launching a course. Uh, there are m multiple things that obviously we need to do. We talked about this before. Okay, well, if you're starting from scratch, like you said, well, I need to build in a mini audience and I need to have an audience that I can control, that I can have access to, that nobody's going to steal from me because well, um, I don't want to be the platform or whatever, right? So to me, that has always been, is, and will always be the most important thing to do. And we see this now so often with YouTubers that finally understand, finally understand. And you can see them say at the end of their videos, hey, if you want to get in touch with me or, or you know, join the, the, the private group, then go there on my website and join my mailing list, uh, building an email list, building your own audience so you can send messages. This is the most important thing. So whenever you're going to be gearing up to launch, you need to start building that list little by little because when you're going to be doing a launch, what's launching is about telling people, hey, we're going to be opening the doors soon. It's going to be awesome. So you want to create an event around it. So that's step number one, building that little audience. Step number two, or 1A, 1B, of course, you're going to do that at the same time, is to think about, okay, great, I'm going to have that membership site. What am I going to deliver? How am I going to make sure I deliver the result that they really want? And what is that result? Because we want to create an offer that converts. We want them to buy that and we want them to get results and we want them to you know, show us that they want it by purchasing it. So we need to think about that. And that's going to come by setting up in, in place the different elements that we talked about, having a sales page that has good copy, that tells them what they are going to get, why they should get it, why they should spend that money, what are the results they can expect, basically talk about what it is, what it will do for them, the benefits, and how they can get access to it. Okay, great. An order page to accept payments online to, so that they can pay you. And then a little thank you page that tells them, great, awesome, check out your email. You're going to get your login details to the members area. And they log in. They're going to see the different elements that we just talked about, about, okay, this is the membership site. What is it? So get clarity on that. Build your list. Set up that little funnel to accept payments, on, uh, accept payments and sell that membership site. So these are the different things that we need to do as we're gearing up. And when it comes to the launch, Lots of people do it multiple ways. You can do the, the simple sales page, order page, thank you page, and do a limited time campaign if you want to. You can put it on Evergreen if you want to once it's ready. You can do a launch, which is basically videos before the sale, and basically you just want them to get to know you, like you, trust you. That's why you're releasing those little videos so you can show them that you can actually help them by helping them first, by telling them, hey, here's a cool tip on how to do that. Or oh, here's my story. This is how I struggled, but now I'm not struggling anymore. And look at all the results. And by the way, look at all these people that I've helped. So that's what you do in those little videos that you release for free before, because then you go with the next part, which is sale page, order page, thank you page, meaning here's how to get access to members area. You saw how awesome it will be. You saw that I'm qualified to help you. Therefore, the next step is for you to decide whether you want in or not, you know, and it's going to be awesome for those who get in. So that is, these are the elements, build your list and then decide on when you want to open the doors. And then you start doing that campaign, send emails, one email per day, maybe for the next four days or five days. That can be the first time you open the doors, you do that. And then after you say, you know what, I want to leave it on evergreen, meaning that whenever they go on my website, they can get in, they can get access to the membership site. You can totally do it that way as well. And these are the things that we need to do to answer your question quickly. These are the things that I would do and that our members are doing when they are gearing up to launching their membership site.